Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I add products to my shop before Shopify store. We're going step by step because the previous video I showed you guys I got new inventory, so I'm going to put that new inventory on my website. So what I've done to get to the point where I'm at now, I've taken my product pictures, which if you guys need help taking product pictures, let me know and I can definitely um, maybe make a video about that. But I've taken my product pictures and my all of my items are ready like to be shipped basically. So and what that means is like if there's anything you need to do, customize them, all that stuff, it's already done. Like for example, I have already um, put my earrings on my label, stuff like that. If you need to do anything like that, then you're ready to go. And if you still need to do that, do that first before watching this video. So we're going to go step by step. So I know I could definitely just do a voiceover, but since I'm going to be flipping back to showing you guys and the computer, I'm just going to film the computer and I hope that that's okay. Um, if I do a type of video like this, let me know if it's not working. So, okay. So first things first, let me flip you around. We are at my Shopify store. So you're going to go ahead and go to products, right? So you're going to click on products. This you're going to just go to your home screen and make sure you click products, right? I'm definitely going to see. So here I'm at all products, which is should automatically send you here. You go all the way to this corner and I'm clicking add product. This is the page it sends you to. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and first just input my title and description. So I'm just gonna enter that real quick and I'll get right back to you guys. This is my description. I'm gonna definitely go in and like adjust this. And I took my pictures on my iPhone. I use the square photos. I go back and forth. I do use my camera sometimes, but like, let me find these. Okay, so this is what the the pictures are that i'm going to be uploading so i'm going to put those here right here where it says add file that's where this is going to go after that i'm going to put in my price i recommend right here it says cost per item i recommend you write this down this is how much you bought the product for i recommend you do that because here at the margin and profit it'll let you know how much money you're making and it's super easy so you can come back if you need to to like find out how much am i charging this for how much uh, profit am I making, stuff like that. I recommend that you do that. So that's where you can do this next. Then after that, we'll go ahead and get into inventory. So here we have um, the SKU. That's kind of like if you track every single item, same thing with the barcode. That's if you kind of, this is honestly for like bigger scale um, shops. So I definitely put track quantity and I wouldn't recommend continue selling out of stock, but however you do it, whatever. I wanted to go back real here on the um, pricing. Click charge tax on this product. It's super important you guys to do that unless you don't care, but it'll Shopify will help you keep track of your taxes. So you want to definitely do that. So here I'm going to put how many items I have available. Now this next part is important. This next part product next portion is shipping so you want to click for me this is a physical product i'm not selling an ebook or anything like that so i have a physical product so here this helps them calculate shipping same with like if you want to help calculate shipping how much an item costs so the reason why i said to make sure your item is customized because all that customization is going to increase the weight so you want to make sure you know how much it weighs so what i'm going to do you guys saw I got a brand new scale. Let me go ahead and turn it on. Let me move it. I'm going to go ahead and put it on here. And this weighs 1.3 ounces. So I'm going to type that in right here. Okay. Then I recommend doing, I ship internationally. If you ship in the United States, this doesn't matter. But basically customs needs to know where did you get this item shown. Okay. So select country of origin. Mine is China, which most of your guys' will be as well. I'm going to scroll to China and um, I don't have this uh, code and I've never had a problem. So then if you have multiple variances, you're going to click that here. I personally don't. So I'm going to leave that blank. It's pretty much just gold. That's all you get. But if you have different colors, different sizes, you can edit that here. I will go ahead and I have since I have something that does have multiple variances, I will show you guys next how to do that. 
So I'm going to click save, super important to save. And you're good to go. Textured hoop earrings. This is what I just listed. Now over here, product availability. If you sell on multiple channels, um, like this is kind of everything that I sell on, you can make sure you want to make sure that this is clicked or not clicked, however it works for you. Definitely you want online store to be selected. Okay, so I wanted to show you for my two headbands that come in two different colors how you can add. When you get to quantity, you're not going to fill this part out. So I'm going to go ahead and get to this part after, but yeah, I'm just going to skip to here. What my, what my variances are is color. So you see how color, I deleted it and color pops up. So I have it in blush right now and separate with commas, blush, comma, and I have it in black. Right. And you'll see that the variances come up here. So then here under quantity, you're going to put how many you have. And then this SKU barcode thing was what I showed you earlier. That's usually for bigger, huge companies that need to keep track of inventory. But that's pretty much it. And then after you click save, you'll see that it looks a little bit different, but you can add the pictures to each item. Okay. Oh my gosh. So... I just finished putting all of the, I look horrible, wow, okay. I was like really excited. I just, my new arrivals to my store, right? I sent out my email list to let people know, hey, I dropped my new arrivals. My supporters were not playing. They were ready for the restock, y'all. So I probably just got in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine orders right now. Like this is crazy. So Anyways, y'all, that is how I add items to my store. If you guys need more information, more clarification, just let me know. I would love to help you guys out. Also, I want to give a shout out to the giveaway winner. Um, in my previous video, I shared with you guys, since I upgraded my shipping scale, I don't need my old one. So I wanted to give it to one of you guys, but only one person entered, which is completely fine for her, right? Um, so I wanted to give her a shout out. Let me... And by the way, I know who this is. Girl, I don't know how to properly pronounce your name. So I'm going to call you Miss Jones, okay? But I want to say congratulations. She says that she's doing a little boutique. She sells shirts, jewelry, little um, coffee and wine glasses with cute little savings. She said she's not fully open yet, but her first customer who actually refused to pay her asking price because they wanted to and gave her more I love that they were like no this quality is amazing so I really really love that girl keep hustling so proud of you you're really doing your thing that is an amazing story she put her Instagram here if you guys want to check her out but um congratulations girl I'm going to ship out your um scale real soon so I will definitely keep you updated because I know your personal IG and everything this girl I'm really really proud of you and I cannot wait to see you grow so anyways, you guys, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found value. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any more awesome content from me. I have plenty more where that's coming from. I can share with you guys my secret, how I just got sales right now, today. I was on it, um, except it did go a little bit crazier than I expected, but I will share with you guys my tips and my tricks. That's why I started this YouTube channel. I got you guys. We're going to hustle this year. We're not letting 2020 beat us. You hear me? So everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.